Imagine a time when multiple human species roamed the Earth, each adapting in different ways to survive an unforgiving world. Now picture a skull, buried for thousands of years, hidden away from science, until it was rediscovered, revealing an ancient human species that may change everything we thought we knew about our origins. This is the story of Homo longi, the so-called Dragon Man. Who was this mysterious ancestor? How did they live? And most importantly, what does their existence mean for the history of our species? Buckle up, because this discovery might be one of the most groundbreaking finds in human evolution. In the 1930s, a construction worker in China made an astonishing find. A massive skull with strikingly human features, but with a size and shape unlike anything seen before. Fearing that the skull might be taken by occupying forces, he hid it in a well, where it remained a secret for nearly 90 years. Only in 2018 did the world finally learn of its existence when the worker's family revealed the discovery, allowing scientists to study this incredible fossil. The skull, named the Harbin Cranium, is one of the largest hominin skulls ever found. It has a brain size comparable to modern humans, about 1,420 cubic centimeters, but with several features that distinguish it from both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. It has a massive brow ridge, large square eye sockets, and a wide flat face that suggests an evolutionary lineage, unlike any other known species. But where does Homo longi fit in our family tree? Scientists initially debated whether the skull belonged to a Denisovan, a mysterious archaic human known from DNA evidence, but with few fossil remains. Others suggested it might represent a new branch of Homo erectus. However, after extensive analysis, researchers concluded that this was something entirely new, a distinct human species that may have been our closest known relatives, even closer to us than Neanderthals. What's even more intriguing is that Homo longi may have coexisted with early modern humans, raising the possibility that they encountered and even interbred with our direct ancestors. If true, this could mean that their genes still survive within us today. But how did they live? And why did they disappear? If Homo longi was indeed a separate species, they must have been incredibly resilient to survive in the harsh Ice Age environments of northeastern China. Unlike the warmer climates where early humans thrived, Homo longi lived in a region that would have been marked by extreme winters, requiring intelligence, adaptability, and possibly even the use of fire and clothing. Their large size and robust features suggest that they were physically powerful, possibly stronger than both modern humans and Neanderthals. But brute strength alone wouldn't have been enough to survive. They would have needed advanced tool-making skills, hunting strategies, and perhaps even social cooperation to endure the harsh conditions. Fossil evidence suggests that they likely lived in small, tight-knit groups, hunting large Ice Age mammals like woolly rhinoceroses, deer, and even mammoths. Did they have a structured society? Did they communicate using language-like sounds? Did they perform rituals, bury their dead, or create art? These are questions that remain unanswered, but their large brain size hints at a level of intelligence that may rival our own ancestors. The Harbin skull lacks teeth, leading some researchers to speculate that this individual lived for some time without being able to chew, possibly with the help of others. If true, this suggests that Homo longi engaged in social care, much like Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. This kind of compassion and cooperation could have been key to their survival in such a challenging environment. But if they were so well adapted, why did they vanish? Did climate change, competition with early modern humans, or disease play a role? Or could they have interbred with our ancestors, merging into our lineage rather than going extinct entirely? One of the most shocking implications of Homo longi is that they may be more closely related to us than even Neanderthals. 
This would mean that our evolutionary history is far more complex than previously thought. Rather than a simple tree with clear branches, human evolution appears to be a tangled web of interbreeding species, some of which vanished, while others left genetic traces that persist in modern populations. Some scientists believe that Homo longi and Denisovans might be closely related or even part of the same species, representing a highly diverse and widespread population of archaic humans in Asia. But without DNA from the Harbin skull, we can't yet confirm whether they contributed to the modern human genome. If future discoveries confirm genetic links between Homo longi and modern humans, it could mean that our understanding of human migration patterns needs to be rewritten. Could Homo longi have been a dominant species in Asia before early modern humans arrived? Could they have influenced the cultures and technologies of our ancestors? These questions remain open, but one thing is clear. Their presence complicates everything we thought we knew about the human story. Unlike Neanderthals, whose DNA has been found in nearly all modern non-African populations, the genetic legacy of Homo longi remains a mystery. Did they interbreed with early humans? Did they contribute to the genetic diversity of Asian populations? Without ancient DNA, we can only speculate. However, if their genes do survive within us, it could mean that they never truly disappeared. Instead, they became part of us, blending into the human lineage much like the Neanderthals and Denisovans. Future discoveries, perhaps another skull, another fossilized bone, or even preserved DNA, may one day provide the missing piece to this incredible puzzle. The discovery of Homo longi challenges the idea of human evolution as a linear progression from primitive ancestors to modern humans. Instead, it suggests that multiple intelligent human species coexisted, each adapting to their environments in unique ways. If we were not alone for most of our history, what does that say about our own species? Were we simply the most adaptable, the most aggressive? Or was our success due to our ability to absorb and learn from other human species rather than outcompeting them? The Harbin skull may be just the first clue in a much larger story. If more fossils are found, we might uncover entire lost civilizations of Homo longi with tools, art, and even language systems waiting to be deciphered. Could they have been the true giants of prehistory, overshadowed only by the dominance of Homo sapiens? So, what do you think? Were they our lost relatives, or just another vanished species? One thing is certain. Our understanding of human history is far from complete, and Homo longi is proof that there are still secrets waiting to be uncovered. If you've made it this far, you're among the rare explorers who seek the truth about our past. But did you know that 99% of our viewers aren't subscribed? If you love unraveling the mysteries of human history, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's uncover history together.